Hello, welcome back to Dark and Dicey. Um, so we have most of the cast back today for, for the first time in like 50 billion years. Hello. Welcome back, you guys. Hey. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Amanda would not be with us today, but I will be NPCing her character. Um, yeah, man, some stuff has happened some, since last time. Uh, Nate, I don't know if you... <laughs> it always seems like stuff has happened. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nate, I don't know if you saw the last episode, but... I did not. Uh, if I not, was... then... Likely filled in. Yeah, well, well, you'll find out quick. Um, so, uh, what happened last time was uh, the Thisbanar fleet uh, closed in on uh, Fairheim fairly quickly, so the, the party had to get out of there. And following some weird, vague clues left by Anya, who uh, did end up rescuing the orphan kids, uh, they found their way back to Dwight's, uh, where Dwight, uh, being fairly introverted and not wanting people in his space, his massive, massive space, um, decided uh, instead of housing, you know, um, the players and their various friends and animals, uh, that he would build them a new home. And thus, uh, he crafted from the very bone that creates his cathedral, um, the Dark and Dicey Gang's own personal dungeon, which still has not been technically named, though we're leaning now towards dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had to Google that meme, you guys. Like, oh. I've never. <laughs> Isn't it great? I never fell over in my life. <laughs> and and yes, it. That's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I'm affirmative. And oh, damn it. Um, all right, but yeah, it's leaning towards dungeon, um, wherein every NPC will walk by and goes, "What the hell does that mean?" Um, it's German. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'll come to a dungeon. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so so far we got a few uh, like seven-ish floors of that. Um, Kovacs started training all twelve orphans in the arts of being a death knight, sort of. Great. Right? Forcing <laughs> forcing me to name all twelve orphans uh, or eleven. One of them's already been named. Sass. On another episode of KG names things. <laughs> yeah, just that. Oh, I'm going like son of a bitch. I guess that makes sense. All right. Um, now so, you're giving me ideas. <laughs> you're like KG. All fifty of these zombies uh, we'd like to interact with. I'd like to have a personal heart to heart with each, right. one of them. each one of the zombies in our army. You got to know your employees. You know. That's right. <laughs> That's Terrence. That's Philip. <laughs> um, I'm not your buddy guy. <laughs> <laughs> All the zombies are Canadian. Um, just to make it simple. Uh, so after that, um, uh, after the dungeons was created, um, the, the, the party uh, fi found out that their friends Shady Jeff and uh, Walter Killmaster had been sort of sussed out for treason by the Allhaven military, and now they were about to hang them on this hill. Unfortunately for them, they have friends in powerful places, and Dwight was able to scry the events and alert them before it happened. So, uh, uh, hurling them through the earth once more through their unlocked fast travel uh, horse, um, they have arrived on the scene uh, with Tala the Minotaur, uh, Werblund, Trixa, uh, Kovacs. That's uh, Captain Allhaven, too. That's right, Captain Allhaven, who did not have the best acting roles um, starting out this, this misadventure. They were all trying to convince that the, the military that they were there to help. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did my part. <laughs> you flew in. You, you flew you in. You glided in. Real like, smooth. Yeah, yeah. That was really impressive, you know. Um, for a second. <laughs> so now, so now the, uh, the, the rescue operation has sort of been disarray. The, the soldiers aren't really sure who to believe. And just at the worst possible time, the um, ASMR, 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 I don't know. It's up to you to pronounce one of them. How do you guys pronounce? ASMR? ASMR. 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 One of those. ASMR. 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 The really angelic looking lady. The angelic looking lady who, who, who has very loud screams that ASMR uh, that they have met before and did not unfortunately take care of has returned um, she has since lost a leg but gained a sword uh, where the leg should be we are dressed cool. differently than the last time she saw it's us. true it's true it's true um, you are still in your uh, outfits but before we get to that uh, Pluck, at the start of our session last time, raced off to try to find his adopted lizard folk kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this this will happen kind of like when you guys take off towards uh, towards the uh, <clears throat> Death Scar. Uh, Pluck, you you uh, arrived in the burning wreckage of the 
uh, pretty quick. Um, things have uh, obviously gone to crap. Uh, you, you notice that most of the bar is on fire. Uh, all the furniture in the bar has been either uh, desecrated or shattered. Um, part of the part of the in portion of the bar uh, on top has kind of cracked and is crumbling out towards the open. Right. Um, your your room seems to have been unaffected more or less. Uh, but the door is closed. Uh, you you haven't gone in there yet. You just set st- a foot into this kind of half burning, half destroyed uh, inn. Is it still like so? It's still on fire. Yeah, actively on fire. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna freaking try and run through and get up to the room. Is there a clear path, or do I have to like? Uh, I, if you want to race straight up to save time, I'm gonna ask you to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid some of the flaming wreckage. Okay. That's good. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, speaking of flaming wreckage, yeah, uh, take five points of damage. As in your rush on the way up, a large beam kind of falls. A fiery large beam falls and clanks you right in the shoulder. Um, yeah, that did not feel good. Uh, you got away with a big bruise and some burns, but you're okay. Um, you do now arrive at the door. Uh, it seems to be... All right. The first thing you see, uh, you did, you were not able to see this from below. Um, <clears throat> it seems that as if there is a weird, wiggling body sort of coming out from the bottom of the door. It looks like this body's head has been shoved through the front part, right at the bottom, like as if he created a doggy door for himself. Whoa. And he was on his way trying to get into the room, but now his body is just sort of stuck. What? What? What is the body? <laughs> the, the body is, is, it looks male. Um, you can't see the head and or face. It looks it's... human? Uh, humanoid? Ish. Yeah, humanoid. Is this like a s- small individual? Or yeah, it... a medium sized individual. Okay. You know? um, uh, huh. I just like. Wait, how? So, like, how is his head under? All right, so, imagine it? as if he like like took his head and like crashed through the bottom, oh, so as if it was a dog door, oh, and now okay. he's kind of stuck at the shoulder. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and cast hold person on him. Okay, um, you cast the spell. Um, you notice uh, uh, that uh, <laughs> you cast the spell, and you notice that the magic sort of fizzles as if. Wait, do I have a bracelet? No, you don't. You cast the spell, and the spell <laughs> sort of fizzles, right? Okay, and but 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 why? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, have you you. you you did check though last session. You remember, you were like, "Wait, where did my bracelet go?" And people were like, "We don't know. It might have been taken." Not last session, but the session beforehand. Okay, well, that's not my fault. So, uh, I cast whole person on you. Whole person, but you do you you do notice that uh, it kind of fizzles as if the target uh, was no longer susceptible to that kind of magic. Uh, make a perception check really quick after you cast the spell. Cool. Uh, Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, this flailing body, once alive, no longer. He's as undead as the rest of the zombies in Trix's army. Oh, it's undead, right? Yeah. Those are everywhere. Cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> can I try to open the door then? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so you sort of like, you, you, you don't need a string check. It doesn't uh, take that much. You sort of like prop the, like kind of, you know, um, fidget around with the body, scoot it back. I'm like, um, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> From inside the door, um, just as you open it, uh, you hear a voice uh, shouting out to you. Be careful! Do not step immediately inside! Ah! Uh, you open the door and you see what looks to be a large, um, fairly sharpened, a uh, heavy piece of wood come down like a guillotine in front of you, a la Home Alone and finish off this squirreling uh, undead by crushing its head more in than it already was. Ah, (laughs) thank you. Uh, As you step inside the room, 
You notice uh, the, the room, there's still a huge um, a hole in the wall where, you know, mm -hmm. that, that event took right. place with Tala. It doesn't seem that uh, your, your child was able to get it fixed in time before everything went to crap. Um, however, in the corner of the room, uh, quick scan tells you that the children aren't here, aren't immediately present. Okay. However, who is present? Yes. He has Warblin's bracelet. He does have Warblin's bracelet? He threw it to him. <gasps> you did! At some point. You did. You did the move. You did the, like, foo, behind yeah. the back, and then pluck. Did, did I ever take it back? I don't think so. No, you didn't. These fucking no. bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. Why didn't okay. we get more? <laughs> well, you got four out of five. Because I think the last one we got, we angered the entire all Haven military by right. killing a centaur. Uh, that's okay. No no death goal, at least, right? Wait, just, isn't that why yeah, we're in trouble now? Way. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> But you 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 scoot into the room, um, but you notice this uh, you notice this very fairly immaculately dressed man, right? He's in these what only looks to be nobles clothing, right? And very very well kept, very poised. Um, he, he appears to be scrawling in a notebook as you make your way in. It's like, oh yes, do watch the zombie body uh, below your feet. Um, uh, whoever was in here last set up a very impressive trap. He turns around, and you see immediately recognizable the snake-like features of a Yuanti uh, male, right? Um, oh. Unlike the others, uh, this one doesn't seem to be uh, immediately aggressive or wanting your life. And uh, he seems to, in fact, just be uh, writing down everything that he's looking at. And it's like... Oh, hello, hello, welcome. Uh, please come in. Uh, you may call me Horatio. You want the reporter? You like? Uh, I like look around at like everything, just like burning down and yeah. like crumbling. I'm just like, <laughs> I just walk in. Yes. Uh, can I be helping you? Um. Well, there were uh, some little ones in here earlier, and. Uh, did you eat some lizards today? Eat lizards? No, no, no. Lizards are closer to master race of Yuanti than you are. I... Oh, but but you're talking about little tiny lizard babies? Yes. Oh, uh, yes. I seem to recall seeing one of them. Uh, hold on a second. He reaches into his pocket. He produces a small kind of um, linen cloth, right? Crumpled up. It's like, yes, I believe he was uh, making this a note to you. Are you the father? Uh, in a way, yeah. Oh, uh, yes. He, he, uh, he mentioned that you would not look similar to him. Here, here you go. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you open the note. It is scrawled in, <laughs> in snack. Um, uh, Does it speak with animals? No, it doesn't. Oh. It is literally the only language she knows. <laughs> Pluck opens it and goes, ah. <laughs> Does it say something interesting? <laughs> Probably. Oh. <laughs> good, good, perfect. What's your name, by the way? Just so my records are uh, very clear. I have to write down this encounter with you. Ah, uh, Warblend. <laughs> okay, well, that's not your name, but I'll write it here as Warblend for now. Okay, Warblend. <laughs> you see, I have to take all this news, go back to my people, spin it in a way that is palatable for my people. That is my job. So the invasion did not go well, I see. The, uh... Oh yes, well you want the invasion that just happened, just now. Do I know about this? Well, you, you heard some mummerings of a, of a Yuanti invasion. You've seen some Yuanti zombies okay. shambling around. So it did happen, you just weren't a part of it. Oh, that's what that was, right? Yeah, yeah, the war leader had some sort of, uh, some sort of artifact that he gave to his lieutenant, and I don't know all the details. I was hoping you would fill me in. Um, first of all, I, I, I'm not sure where I have that in my notes. Do I actually know what he's talking about? Do I know all this stuff, or is this, like, news to me? I mean, you, you, you don't know anything about a war leader. You don't okay. know anything about an artifact. All you sort of know is that okay. an invasion apparently happened. There's okay. some zombie you went and it didn't go well. Um, 
I'm pretty sure you know more than me there, so. Oh, uh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, he kind of steps to the side, another beam falls down. Um, so we're about finished in here. <laughs> uh, what do you say about maybe getting out of this burning wreckage of a building? Hey. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, let's go. Okay. And he just sort of walks and jumps out the big hole that's already there. You know, it's only one floor down. He mm -hmm. makes it pretty simple. Um... <clears throat> And in the distance, bef uh, before you even jump, you can see that the Thysbanar ships are now rapidly approaching the harbor. Oh, good. Yes. Um, so, you're here taking notes. Oh, yes, yes. Like I mentioned, I am journalist for my people. We have a semi-free press. <laughs> but yeah, my job mostly is to record what happens and then tell the good side to my people. You know, oh, no, it's not because they were... Uh, people opposing us that the invasion failed, it was because necromancy and zombies, who knew these things would happen? You know, that stuff. Ah, yeah. fake yes, news, yes. sad. All right. Oh, no, 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 just, uh, just alternate news. Oh. <laughs> yes. Right, that's, yes. that's good. I yes, that perfect. That seems useful. Yes. Um, so, uh, 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 what was this you were saying about the uh, artifact? Oh, yes, yes, um, there was some nifty artifact that the war leader came up with that freezes time for uh, most people, but uh, apparently it did not work out so well. Um, you, you see those warships coming in the distance? <laughs> they're like everywhere. Yeah, they're everywhere. The thing goes, oh, that, those. Yeah, those, yeah. yeah. I'm, those, pretty sure, uh, I'm pretty sure they will be murdering all of us if they catch us here. What do you say we maybe leave this town? You know what? Even better idea. How about we leave? Like, just in general? No, like, leave this town. Oh. Like you said. Yeah. Hey. Oh, perfect. Yes, <laughs> yes. You said the thing that I said. Yay. Fantastic. We should, we should go now. Yeah. Do you have any idea where we should maybe be safe for a little bit? He's still, like, riding. I was like, no. It's like, um... I'm not... I'm not aware of... The, the house or the, the dungeon am I um you're aware where Dwight lives is that do I think that's safe? <laughs> <laughs> that's up to you where 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 else would you take him <laughs> go right back into all haven I don't I, there's nowhere to go everything's on fire yeah. <laughs> the ship's closing in on yeah. every side <laughs> it's just very calmly where do you think we should hang out <laughs> <laughs> where is cool to kick it yes <laughs> <laughs> to chill as if you may say ah uh, well i don't know about chill but i need to find some some lizards so and plug just like starts searching just starts like just walks away and starts looking around you just you stay in town. I mean, do I do I have any kind of any any kind of idea where they might be? Uh, make an intelligence roll really quick. Okay. DC ten. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. Was it a one? No. Just low. It was a five. Five. All right. Yeah, you, you somehow it, it escapes your mind that the Yuanti who speaks snake would not be able to read your snake scroll. So it just escapes your mind. Mm -hmm. So as you're looking around for your kids, a uh, few minutes pass. Um, oh, shit, right, he's a snake. Yeah, Horatio, <laughs> Horatio continues to just sort of hang out in the, in, 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 in the square. And he's looking around. Um, uh, you, you do notice the Thysmanar ships now uh, rapidly approaching, and they're, they're a few minutes away from docking. Um, do so. Um, do I know where the rest of the party is? Uh, no, because by the time you get out there, everyone else has left. Okay. Right. Um, if you if you want, you can roll survival, and you can see if there were signs of them. Did we tell them where we were going no, when we you guys left? Off. <laughs> that is a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. All right. You do see footprints. Very obvious footprints of like, you know, uh, that one probably belongs to a gnome, that one probably belongs to a halfling. That's a that's an entire uh, thing of zombies, you know. <laughs> giant horde. <laughs> giant footprints. ball of death tracks um, like, rolling off in that direction. Like, um, I don't want to follow those. <laughs> so we should follow those. <laughs> All right, that seems like it makes sense. These seem like a large group of people came through here. That should be safe. 
Sure. Yes, come with Horatio. We will go to safety. Um, and Horatio uh, happily starts off towards the Death Scar. Um, <clears throat> in, in, in just a little while, uh, as you're um, making your way out of town, you see that <clears throat> the ships have docked, the Thismandar ships have docked behind you. Oh, that's good. So, uh, it's easy to assume that their forces have taken control of Fairheim at this point. Um, but a uh, good, good hour into your trek, you, you do finally come back to the Death Scar. And uh, you notice there's something a little different now mm. uh, in this location. Uh, whereas there was once only the opening to Dwight's Grand Bone Cathedral, there is now a pointed tower-like shape erupting from the ground, erected from the ground, <laughs> if you will. Mm. Um, there is a large... Um, menacing looking skull uh, as an entrance with with twin gargoyles um fearsomely peeking out the size of its head and uh letters that only say not secret hideout uh written on the head <laughs> you see so like <sighs> <laughs> you go in there <laughs> <laughs> in the in that terrible looking thing or that one there's, there's now two. There's like the right. cathedral and the, um, the I point, I point towards the not secret hideout. It's just like, got a feeling about that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So you, you guys head into the not secret hideout. Oh boy. <laughs> um. Yeah. You know the first. Uh. You, you, you come down the set of steps. Um. And you, 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 you come across this empty level. Um, this empty floorscape uh, of bleached white bone, right? Um, every once in a while, there seems to be some sort of little uh, little structure to hold plants, botanical life. Um, you've entered the greenhouse uh, uh, level of oh, the... Oh, that's nice. It is nice. You know, you're lucky in that it was just built, so none of the death traps have uh, have uh, been put in yet. Oh, great. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is a very comfortable space. There's some sunlight coming in here. This is a nice place. Yes, hmm. someone should make this into a hideout. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, you basically go unmolested through seven floors of dungeon. Um, you know, you the... You go through a greenhouse looking level, you go through a level that's sort of, it's very under dark-ish, the kind of gloom that, that settles in there. And you go across this floor, you go down one more. Oh, the, the elevator is disconcerting though, because it's not made out of a mechanism or gears, it's literally made out of sinew, bone, and muscle. So every time it moves, you hear this like really disconcerting, muscly squelching noise as like tendons and stuff are, Activated is, to is is there no stairs? You came down the stairs. Right. That was the only set of stairs. Oh. Yeah. All right. yeah. <laughs> it's oof. Yeah. So it just kind of goes down every time. Um, you went to a training room. You do find sleeping orphans in the training room, however. Mm. Like mm. the elevator stops on the orphan floor. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. As you as your door doors close, you just hear someone's like, "I'm murder explosion king." <laughs> it's like, I'm so tired of orphans. <laughs> um, you go past one more room. Um, uh, you you notice that Sir Piggleton is asleep on one of the stalls on this floor. Oh, uh, yeah, he's he's having a good time. Um, and finally, when when you go through. <laughs> You, you go through enough rooms, the, the elevator itself comes to a stop. Um, no doors immediately open. Horatio looks around like, hmm, I am feeling this is some sort of trap. Do I, do I feel like it's a trap? Uh, make a deck saving throw really quickly. <laughs> okay, so, yes. <laughs> uh, 22. Nice, nice. Um, you, you, you manage to, uh, as the elevator floor opens beneath you, mm -hmm. uh, you're able to, with one foot, catch, uh, oh, it's like this kind of grisly body part on this elevator that's kind of slimy and, and, um, squishes under your, under your grip. I like to imagine Pluck's, like, totally over all of this. He's like, do you think this is a trap? And Pluck just kind of preemptively, like, <laughs> 
<laughs> like when a subway's about to take off. Yeah. It's like, uh, I'd say so. Horatio, unfortunately, having rolled a two, uh, falls through um, the, <laughs> the, the, the elevator. You just hear him go, oh, oh this is nice. <laughs> What's down there? Oh, it's a ball pit. Oh, no. He's like, <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Come, join Horatio. Is it, like, really dark down there? Like, no, actually, it's it's well lit enough that you see down there, it's literally a pit filled with balls. Um, and that's it. Is the elevator door open in front of me? No. So that's the only place That's literally. Yeah. <laughs> Can I try to open the door? <laughs> <laughs> you kick against the wall to no avail. You just get sort of some blood on your feet cool. from the wall. Great. <laughs> It's it's a, it's actually kind of comfortable, you know. You could spend some time in this ball pit, I don't like reading this. a book. No, nope, I want I am, I want to immediately like try and just yeah. You you wade <laughs> from the like, ball pit. It's like kicking like a what was it, Man in Black two when he's in that pile of right. stuff. It's like <laughs> <laughs> finally you're able to crawl your way out of this massive ball pit. Um, some pink viscous body slime attached to your wings. Um, the ball pit is made out of the same material everything else is made out of. Um, so you and Horatio uh, make your way out of this ball pit, and there does seem only by design, and it seems, only one door leading out of this room. Look, uh, In this unfinished ball pit room, there's only one door, no other elevators left. He like looks to Horatio, it's just... This also seems like a trap. Well, I believe in you. <laughs> Yes, I am reporter of news. Uh, perhaps you go uh, put door open. I will record what happens. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm not going to jot I'm, it down. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, know. if I'm going to jot it down first and put it to my news source before you. Well, look, my news source has the many people watching. I don't know about your news source. What is the name of your news station? Plucking these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell you what, we'll do it together. Fair is fair. All right. Yes. Do I think he's lying? <laughs> Roll insight. That fucking <clears throat> checks out. That one. He is the most trustworthy person you've ever met. I hate Bright this. smile, <laughs> well dressed. Doesn't matter that you went to man. You can <clears throat> drink a beer with him. Sure. <laughs> Um, all right, so both of you kind of side by side, mosey up to the door, um, and he just sort of, he uses his pen and, like, prods at it. I kind of, like, take my staff and just right. kind of pull it. You guys just kind of open the door. Initially, nothing. Dark hallway. Dark hallway. Cool. Um, I'm gonna use, oh, where is it? I'm gonna, so so it's like totally dark, right? It's very dark. So I uh, I take my staff forward, and the little gem that's on the top, I just kind of, dink, and it lights up, and I cast a daylight on it. Okay. And now there is a sixty foot radius of light. Fantastic. All right. So you sort of just just from the corner, you you do one of these, right? You're mm -hmm. like, um, the first thing you notice is saliva. <coughs> Big, long, thick strands of saliva dripping down from the ceiling. And what appears to be sharp, stalactite-shaped, um, almost teeth coming out of the ceiling and the floor itself. You see muscles surrounding what looks to be more or less a giant mouth, mm -hmm. just kind of hovering like this. The saliva dripping down from the teeth. I just kind of back up on like... There's a hot scoop in there if you want to get yourself a story. I am right here looking at the same thing you watch. <laughs> I didn't have a good. I didn't have a good read on the, on right. the positioning. Right? right. Okay. Let's um, let's try some things. Okay. So he takes like um, 
he takes like a stone from nearby and he tosses it into the room. And the room just, uh, it, it's a worse sound than the elevator sound. The sound, like the overpronounced uh, sound of muscles clamping down to chew, right? It just crushes down together and just grinds into this pulpy, bony, bloody mess right in front of you before finally separating slowly, right? Uh, Horatio uh, taps you on the shoulder. It's like, I have seen pressure traps like these. Now while it is separating, now it is the time to go. Thrust Horatio. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. He's going to make a save. <laughs> oh, boy. He's fine. He kind of darts off across right through the teeth. Come, new friend. It is perfectly safe for the next 12 seconds. Is there another rock I could throw in nearby? Yeah. I'm going to wait until it's totally open. Okay. <laughs> Same thing. Okay. Um, played a platformer before. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So you wait for it to open all the way. The, the, the stalactite bone teeth, even though they shattered and ground to a pulp, reform as it opens. Oh, in this efficient. terrible, yeah, very efficient tech necromancy uh, trap. So it sets all the way back up to the top. Mm. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and throw a little rock in there. And just like before, it clamps down shut in this nightmarish sound of grinding bone and muscle, and then it starts to reform and go back up. Yeah, I guess bolt for it. All right, um, dexterity saving throw as you go through. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. You're fine. Cool. Um, you 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 manage not to step on anything you shouldn't, and you progress through the death grinder room, um, and and as you as you come and settle in next to Horatio again, uh, you you're in what is su a surprisingly comfortable room. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's it's cool. There's like a there's a gambling setup. Hmm. Right. Yeah, it's um, you know, there's some at this point there's some cushioned uh, chairs and stuff, and um, uh, yeah, it, it's it's it, after after the the nightmare of the previous room, it's sort of uh, strange, um, this room, uh, and uh, across the across the way from the comfortable room, you do see a set of stairs going down, and um, from what you can hear, uh, it sounds like it leads to the layer of Dwight's cathedral. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Horatio turns back and says, "You know, I do believe we just made our way through a uh, a dungeon." Can I like investigate the comfy room for like treasure or a reward? Sure. So <laughs> roll investigation. Cool. Nineteen. Nineteen. You find some very uh, provocative uh, paintings of Dwight. <laughs> <laughs> you know, from from days when he still had a body. <laughs> Huh? Nothing that I care to describe. Mm. Yeah. Was he was he handsome? Um, no, he was still a skeleton. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's why I don't really. So know. a different bot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But still, great. It's yeah. Like, hey, I hate. <laughs> it's like I hate dungeon callers. <laughs> well, we took the scenic route, so let's uh, let's head on down then, huh? Um, you and Horatio uh, um, kind of scoot on down, um, and him like you know jotting everything down while he's he's going. Um, and uh, as you descend the stairs, uh, you 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 start hearing. Uh, Can I? Wait, he's is he like still writing? Yep. Yeah. Okay. The second I see he's not writing, I want to do something. Um. That's going to be pretty difficult because he can write without looking at his hands. Um, but yeah, he every once in a while he will pause. Is there something you specifically want to do? I meant like put the book away. Oh, that hasn't happened yet. So uh, yeah. Okay. You're not quite sure when that's going to happen. Noted. Right. But I want to keep an eye out. Okay. Okay. Um, so you you guys are descending the stairs and you start hearing noises. Um, uh, you. You hear the voices of your friends, though muted. Um, and as you come into uh, Dwight's lair, you, you see that everyone has sort of gathered around the scrying mirror that he keeps in his cathedral. Um, Dwight has more or less set up a couch. Mm -hmm. um, he's, uh, and on the screen, you see uh, uh, Kovacs, Werblund, 
Trixa. They're still dressed in their um, All Haven uh, superhero outfits. You see that. Uh, um, <laughs> you see that Shady Jeff and Walter are currently tied up, and you see that uh, there are nooses nearby. This looks to be an execution platform that they've built, and there are two squads of soldiers on site, and right in their midst, the um, uh, the Golden Asimar from before that you recognize. Mm. Um, so and, this is this isn't in the room we're in. This is like projected, or this is yeah, like, it's projected onto gotcha. the scrying mirror. Okay, Dwight, um, uh, the pretty cook, uh, Iron Hoof, the cultists—they've all sort of gathered around and they're watching. Is the there sc- like a noise when we? Oh wait, no, it's just like a stairwell that walks. Yeah, in. stairwell. <laughs> Walk in from the dungeon entrance, just like, <laughs> hello. Oh, pluck! There you are. Is that a Yuante with you? Hello, I am Horatio, the reporter. He's recording everything to tell everyone. Journalists. Right? Uh, uh. What are your credentials? <laughs> <laughs> so Horatio walks over and it's like, here you are, sir. As you can see, we are very neutral news network. Uh, purely spin, you know, not actual news, just sort of colored news. And he's like, oh, I've always respected journalists. Move on. And like, oh, perfect. Great. <clears throat> Dwight has no problem with, uh, with the anti journalist. Oh, uh. If you do tell your people about me, tell them about how large and handsome I am. Yes, of course. Noted. Large, handsome, demi-lich. <laughs> <laughs> um, as, as they're having that exchange, you do see on the screen that um, trouble is about to befall your friends in a fairly cataclysmic way. Um, uh, what, what would you like to do, having taken in this information, uh, as you reach this, the cathedral? So they're they're all dressed. So on the screen, they're like dressed up mm. in their things, um, and there's new. So d- do I gather like they're also gonna? Are they gonna be like executed? Is that uh, you don't on? you don't you don't exactly uh, you actually. I mean you, you're there. So uh, oh, Iron Hoof. I'm gonna I, ask him. Yeah, uh, uh, Iron Hoof leans over and fills you and is like, hey, so um, so here's what's happening. <laughs> right? uh, they Dude. found uh, Shady Jeff and Walter. They were about to get hung, right? Uh, hanged. What do you say that? Hanged, I, I, I'd go with hanged. Yeah, hanged, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I, I, uh, look, so uh, they're hung and or hanged, and uh, <laughs> so I'm good, good on them. The, the last one. <laughs> Uh, no, now I see. Now I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's... No, but people are gonna. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but okay, so they were there, and then your friends were like, "Oh no, we should save them, right?" So then right. Dwight did the thing with the horse. You know, he threw them through the dirt. You know, like, oh. Oh right, right. They're yeah. scary. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, now cool. they're there. Uh, they were gonna try and uh, do this acting thing to convince them that they're the good guys. All but, right. um, did, it, did it go well? Uh, no, 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 no. It didn't go well. Uh, oh, so yeah. they're they should far. Have been, like, some like workshops or something. Yeah, yeah that's what it seemed like. The the acting was not on point. Point. Mm, uh, exactly. they, they didn't believe them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it bless you. And so now this is where they're at. This 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 golden uh, Asimar lady just came. Uh, I don't know if you know her, but she just sort of popped into existence. Uh, we we bumped into each other. Yeah. So now place. you're caught up. That's what happened. Great. Uh, yeah. Great. So Dwight's like, did you want to go or? Want is not the word. Yeah, but I won't make you pull up a seat. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like we've got old famished. <sighs> he like, <laughs> he like take a sip of one. Just kind of sure is delicious, sugary and addictive. All right, what's the fastest way there? I'm glad you asked. All right, um, we're going to get back to you in a second. <clears throat> All right, guys. All right. <laughs> so, uh, with a screaming crescendo, this this golden-plated paladin uh, soars into your mist, lands in front of you. Um, she is just not looking happy, you know? Uh, she seems like a bit more seasoned than last time. Her, her armor looks a little fill more filled out. Um, her hair is a little more matted and, and not taken care of. She just, <laughs> she looks like she's just gone through some stuff, you know? Um, 
So now, uh, is there anything anyone wants to do or say before this turns into whatever it's about to turn into? Mm. I mutter to myself, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> you do that. And then one of the soldiers is like, did he just get an accent? <laughs> It happens when I'm under duress, soldier. Don't pay it any mind. <laughs> I just, I just. Wanted... Sometimes I get anxiety. <laughs> it's an anxiety accent. It's like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, <laughs> I just want to say, kill the Minotaur zombie for mind controlling us. As you're polishing, like, the, the blood from the actual soldier you killed. Yeah, well, I missed. <laughs> missed. And I rolled a 20 on that one time. <laughs> Des describe the scene. Here. Okay, okay. <laughs> so, um, uh, there are now, there was tw about 20 soldiers, right? There's, um, 18 now because mm -hmm. of... Events. Yep. Um, they're they they all have their weapons out. They're pointing it at. Um, they they kind of go back and forth it's like Minotaur, you guys, Minotaur. Uh, pretty sure they're all bad guys, but we're not convinced. Um, the sergeant is trying to. Uh, uh, the sergeant actually was trying to give orders, but is now somewhat dumbstruck by the sudden arrival of uh, this uh, Asimar. So he's like, uh, uh, uh and um. And the Asmar has landed in front of the group of soldiers, so she is the closest to your group uh, than any of them are. Uh, Tala is sort of off to the side with her own group of soldiers that are like advancing on her with spears. I want to avoid eye contact with her. Okay, so you're like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab the sergeant by the collar. Get it together, soldier. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, try I'm trying, sir. Things are happening very quickly. We gotta take down the undead. It's imperative for the safety of all, Haven. All right, sir. We're, we're gonna try to get on that. Um, so now, uh, as 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 the golden uh, Asimar um, uh, readies her weapon, you all maybe roll event, uh, roll uh, initiative uh, for what's about to occur. She's just gonna attack everyone. She doesn't yeah. know who we are. <laughs> Me too. Or Twenty. Not yet. Okay. Twenty One. also. Oh, not not twenty. Not not. Um, mine is a seventeen plus three. Okay, cool. Twenty one. Oh. Like Jack. Jeez, everyone. We are very initiated. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yours was also dirty twenty. Yes. What's your dex? Or just terrified. One. Oh, I mean your your dexterity score. Oh. Whatever one is <laughs> like twelve. Oh, right, maybe? Right. Okay, so it's Kovax. Uh, yeah, twelve. Uh, I've got seventeen decks. Excellent. Word blend. Uh, and I am gonna be written up in the Awanti news. Um, that's a uh, wow. Lovely. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, sure. Uh, the the mooks rolled a natural twenty. Does that mean the soldiers? Yeah, the soldiers. The regular We're, Joes? Yeah, yeah, the regular Joes rolled the natural 20 initiative. Oh, everyone's just... They're just so motivated. Ready. Yeah, they're ready just, to... oh, just ready. I can go. <laughs> <laughs> they're so amped. All right. Um, uh, Pluck, you will join the initiative next turn. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, it, it is the soldier's turn, and most of them uh, do identify... Tala as the major threat because she is the biggest, most horrifying thing there, right? Um, so a, a group of them go after her. Um, Tala expertly fights off a squadron of, of soldiers. Um, a, a good eight of them uh, come at her. They they try to jab her with their with their spears and try to hack at her with their swords. But because she's so large and armored, she easily parries it away with uh, her very large axe. And uh, she is currently in a skirmish with this group of soldiers. Another group of soldiers, um, uh, sort of. Uh, actually, let's see if they uh, recognize you as a threat. Not yet. So these soldiers still are unsure of whether or not to attack you. So um, the remainder of the soldiers, the, a good uh, 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 16 of these uh, of these guys. 16? No, no, no. That math doesn't make sense. 18? Uh, no. 18. No, no, no. There was eight that go, went after Tala, mm. and then two are missing. So... Uh, eight. Ten. 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 
10 go after uh, your zombie horde, which still number about 100, right? So they sort of uh, get into this formation to try to, um, they get uh, the, the, the uh, execution platform on their right, and they have a, a somewhat of a large uh, hillscape to their left, right? So these, these soldiers, they are expertly trained, so they kind of try to funnel the undead through this little narrow thing so that their numbers mean less, right? Because they can't just engage them outright. Um, and that's the soldier's turn. Kovacs, it is your turn. It's the uh, Asimir within striking distance. She's about 10 feet away. Yeah. What do the soldiers think of her? Uh, the, soldiers, the soldiers seem to know who she is. So they, they are, they're not questioning her presence here. Yeah, I mean, do we have any idea how she is viewing this situation? Uh, she is stone cold staring at the lot of you. She hasn't moved since she landed. Um, you just know that her uh, weapon is readied, and she looks terse. Hmm. <laughs> Good boy. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast Branding Smite on my weapon. All right. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna go ahead and hit her with my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, you you tap your 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 blade to the ground. It's it sears a white hot hot glow, and uh, you go in for for a sword swing. Sick. Hmm. <clears throat> Eleven. Eleven? Um, all right, you, uh, <laughs> you, you come in with your, with your uh, adamantite reinforced blade, and you, you, you do your over-the-shoulder strike, and in one very graceful move, the um, Asimir, Asimir, Asimar, I'll never be able to say the name right, but she, she does this sort of um, sidekick with her leg, mm -hmm. uh, parries your blade with her own, and it's, it's in this kind of ballerina stance that she just sort of slides it off into the side. Just like... Yeah. It was very impressive looking. Impressive. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very graceful. Oh, do I get a second attack? You, I do. Oh, that's you. great. It's really good news. <laughs> it's a 20. Hey, there we go. All right. Time to get on. Impressive. Now... <laughs> So, all right, so it's gonna be, do I, do I roll all damage dice twice? Um, so y we double the actual dies. So if you have any uh, uh, um, uh, like superfluous non-die damage, that counts on its own. Yeah, yeah. But you double everything you roll. Right, so. Roll once, the, multiply it? Yeah. The base okay. is 2d6, but then there's Branding Smite, which right. is another roll. Right. And then there's my special thing. Your That's special another thing. roll. That's Does that all roll. get doubled? Um, I'm going to... Uh, the Sneak attack this, so... Yeah, I'm going to say yes, uh, because it, it, you're right, it would work somewhat like sneak attack, so this is going to be a very meaty hit. She's about to have a... Branding, branding does um, uh, something uh... else along with 2d... Uh, six, yeah, right? they like glow or something. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Does that like give advantage? Or <laughs> uh, no, they just become like a light source, and oh. they can't turn invisible. Oh, so okay. she was glowing was enough before. Yeah, she'll just. She's <laughs> 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 so weapons two d six. Oh, so that's um, ten doubled. So that's twenty, and then branding smite is two d six. Oh Roll. my god. And that's uh, 14 more. Jesus. And then uh, my other thing, was that 1d8? Yes, 1d8. Is that, is that 34? That's 34. Okay, hey, calm down. Uh, plus 6. Okay, 40. So that's 40. Oh, shit. And then I'd like to change classes. Plus. <laughs> <laughs> and then plus 4. Okay. Boom! Shotgun Not 4d4. 44. <laughs> All right. Oh. Um... So, uh, uh, sh having having gracefully parried your first strike, put you in a good position to bring the sword up from the ground uh, using the momentum. Um, she's not the only trained fighter in this fight. So, using the momentum from the parry, you swing it all the way back around, and you catch her just as he, she swings back around, um, and she's able to just, just, just barely avoid decapitation by raising her warhammer um, right in front of her face. Uh, and unfortunately, it's not enough to deflect the the, uh, the blow itself, which comes 
at the Warhammer, uh, strikes against it. There's a huge impact that can be felt by those around you even, the force of this blow. Uh, you notice the adamantite reinforced blade crack the handle um, of her Warhammer. In fact, because you've crit, um, it, it, it's the crack grows and grows and it shatters through the handle of her weapon itself. And she can barely um, kind of uh, throw her body back in time to avoid a fatal, uh, fatal injury, but it does carve cleanly through the, um, the front portion of her armor into her side and out a rib, you know, Ooh. as she just travels backwards. Um, uh, the, her weapon falls down, uh, is uh, having been cleft in twain. Um, <laughs> uh, and she, she looks down at the bloodied, uh, mess that is, that, uh, uh that is her side. Um, uh, she, however, she doesn't seem as phased by it as you would hope that she would be. Mm. She sort of just touches it, looks at you, and remains in this very controlled, murderous, um, uh, stance. Mm. Uh, it hurt her, but not enough for her to be frightened of you. Uh oh. Oops. <laughs> Ask me, don't give a fuck. Um, uh, is that the end of your turn? Uh huh. Oh, uh, and now she glows even brighter. Thanks. Yeah. She's just... <laughs> You're just like, oh, yep. Oh, yep, I did that. That's uh, all I got. <laughs> uh, Wurbland. Um, so is, is it like me, Kovacs, Asimar? Is that... It's more, it's more like uh, you off to the side, Kovacs and Asimar uh, over here. So you're not like directly behind anyone, you're sort of like off to the side. Okay, I would like to uh, run up behind Kovacs, like leap up onto his shoulder, and then jump from his shoulder down onto the Asimar and strike with my sword. Cool, I'm gonna ask you to roll athletics. Uh, DC, I'm going to call 12. That is a 23. Sweet. Eight. Um, your, your maneuver goes off without a hitch. I'm going to grant you, uh, um, advantage to your, uh, attack because she doesn't see it coming. Um, she's so focused on the fact that Kovacs just, uh, uh broke through her defense. She's, she's not going to be able to react in time to, uh, your airstrike. So go ahead and roll with advantage. Midair, I yell. Nice hit, soldier! <laughs> hit salute on my way down. <laughs> just looking at him like, did he just catapult off my sword? Is it just, the, I don't have any modifiers for this, right? Uh, yeah, you do. You have um, your, uh, since you have finesse weapons, it's your uh, oh, it's it? roll to hit plus it's your dex modifier. Oh, I do have your... my dex. Yeah. It'll be on D&D Beyond with your Okay, weapon. that is a 20. That's a 5. Oh. Um... Okay, well, 20 okay. non-natural, right? Um, 17 natural. 17 natural uh, plus whatever. Uh, e My dex mod, right? Yeah, yeah, so it equals out to 20, is what yeah. you said. Okay, yeah, uh, you hit. Um, you, you come down, you, you get through defenses, and you, you, you're you able to land a, uh, a strike. Go for it. Okay. Uh, this is my eight, sorry. It's a three plus... I have my dex mod of this as well, right? The finesse. Um, no, the f I, I believe the. F oh yes, you're, yeah, you're right. You're right. Dex. Okay, dex, so that'll uh, be six. Okay, total. six points for the first hit. Um, and then I believe you have one more attack. I do. Right? Uh, this one doesn't have advantage because now she's ready for you. Okay. I got a twelve. Uh, no, this one, um, she, she, uh, she's, she's a bit too, uh, good of a fighter to fall for the same thing, so you come down, she doesn't, uh, see the, the initial hit, she, you come down and you take a good, uh, slice into her, um, uh, into her, uh, shoulder blade, uh, she moves out of the way and lifts her knee up and is able to block the second slash with her adamantite, um, sword leg. Um... And actually, uh, this is an interesting time to inform you of this. Uh, you, 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 your second strike going up towards her, and it's it being bl blocked by this black blade. Um, you, you feel this really awful like impact against your weapon, and you know, as a, a mercenary who takes good care of his equipment, you've probably damaged your sword a little bit. Okay. Um, you, this is your sword is not reinforced with adamantite, and you've just hit solid, sharpened adamantite. 
Um, you may even notice a chip. Blimey. <clears throat> um, all right, so now you're you're there right right in front of her. Uh, anything else you want to do before? Um, spit. Spit. <laughs> Spitting is a free action. <laughs> you spit, <laughs> you spit towards her. Um, because man, those are expensive swords. Um, all right. Uh, Trixa. Um, is the Asmar facing my direction or the? Um, you're not flanking her, okay. but she's not facing you directly. So, okay. like Warblund, you're off to the side. Okay. Do you think with 35 movement, I would be able to come around behind her? Let's see, you're about 10 feet away. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to do that. Okay. And I would like to rage. You flank and rage. And ask for Zaz's help. <laughs> uh, Izaz is more than happy to uh, uh, loan you his power aid. Especially this glowing, yeah, annoying Izaz, lady. Izaz is not a fan of Asimir, sir. <laughs> um, She's too so, bright. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, this the flowing black um, pu- uh, manifestation of your own um, uh, spite and negativity engulfs your body. <sighs> um, it reinforces your muscles. It, it, it you know the, the tendons and muscles like inflate in your legs, and you can feel the earth even giving way beneath your newfound strength um, and your eyes open and you know the black uh, the veins spread across your face uh, you are now enraged and I just uh, want to take my full 35 feet to like run around and jump and go at her with at her back with my battle axe yes do it and you have advantage I believe on these. thank goodness <laughs> natural 20 hey! oh, bye Screw your boss battle. I know, right? Okay. Oh, okay. So that's 24 damage. Is that. Is that. I rolled a 10 and I doubled it. Plus two, plus two from raging. Okay. Four. Got it. And my second attack. Mm hmm. Uh, 19? Uh, 19, <laughs> and let's see, uh, e- it meets. It meets. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was crooked. Oh, four, uh, uh, 14. Okay. 14, 40. I rolled 10s both times. All right. Um, so, yeah, you, uh... Um, uh, so yeah, I, I, this 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 uh, uh, Asamir, As- Asamir, 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 um, was was uh, whether or not she was prepared for this encounter irrelevant now. Um, <laughs> she was just uh, uh, taken aback by a fierce combo attack with Kovax and Warblund. And right after she uh, finishes dodging or parrying um, your blade, uh, she, we, you both hear this explosion of earth beneath uh, Trix's feet as she dashes around um, uh, the, the, the battle and home, homes in on, on uh, the... Um, Asimar, air, Asimar, <laughs> the ass, um, <laughs> golden lady, and and with 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 newly in in uh, empowered uh, strength, she <sighs> washes down with her battle axe. Um, the uh, uh, the golden lady, the shining lady. Um, <clears throat> She's able to she's able to mitigate only a little bit of your assault because it is so aggressive and so uh, and and so just straightforward and she's now being flanked by you and your party members. Um, she does take the brunt of your damage. Your axe hits home several times. Um, she can only block so much of it with her remaining weapon on her leg, and uh, uh, and soon. Uh, she she sort of falters against your assault and, and your axe bites home at her hip, uh, chewing away at the flesh there. Um, she's able to use the impact and sort of scramble out of the way, uh, sliding off to, to the side up. So she's not, um, so she's facing uh, the three of you as best she can in, in, in her cone of vision. Um, she's injured. Uh, she's not down, but she is injured, uh, actively bleeding. Um... And that was 
both hits, right? Yes. From tricks. All right. Anything else you'd like to take care of before the turn ends? No. Okay. Um, so it is uh, her turn, uh, finally. <laughs> um, so uh, um, the Asimir, um, you you see her uh, obviously winded. Um, you, she takes her her glowing now glowing even um, more. Uh, hand, uh, and she places it uh, to to her body like this, and you see uh, and almost hear the audible popping and reforming of flesh as she lays hands on herself, and uh, and regains a tremendous amount of health. Of course, um, um, <clears throat> now. Uh, Afterwards, she, you, you notice uh, the bright spectral wings on her back form once again this this terrible um, light blue kind of streaking um, aura just surrounds her body as she, as again, the cacophonous scream uh, comes to her as she appears to be almost powering up uh, this, 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 this glow from her body just trembling the earth beneath her. And um, she... She holds her hand out like this, um, says a word in Celestial that no one but Kovacs uh, hears. Uh, you hear her scream out the name of Haven Spear, right? Mm. And in an instant, the familiar black and gold spear erupts from the dirt, um, just magically <laughs> spearing towards her hand, and she catches it. And uh, having now replaced her weapon, uh, she... Uh, let's see, uh, Trixa, now that you are demon formed, um, dead giveaway, <laughs> dead, dead giveaway that it's you. My hood and my beak and my eye mask. But you are still, uh, you know, same axe, <laughs> <laughs> same axe, still same, uh, evil, uh, dark demon powers. Um, um, the, the Asimar, Mir, Asimir, uh, looks straight at you, uh, gives a huge, just huge battle cry, and just goes immediately in your direction, almost ignoring the other two completely. Um, took her leg. Uh, so she's going to <clears throat> take a swing at you. Uh, 18? Yes. So, all right. So she is going to Divine Smite um, at a third spell slot level. Ooh. So let's see here. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's not going to... It's a big oof. It is a big oof. Large oof. Okay. Um, okay, and then for the Divine Smite... Twenty-seven points um, of damage. Uh, now, hold on. Uh, what was it? Th Thirteen of that uh, being radiant damage. Hmm. Um, the other, uh, the other um, uh, amount was piercing, but unfortunately for you, it is magically enhanced, so it does get by your damage resistance. Okay. Um, and, uh, having done all her other buffs that turn, that is her, uh, turn. Um, now, after she, she gets in a solid hit with you, uh, you, you, you feel, you know, you, you, you feel his Oz attempt to absorb it, but, you know, radiant damage and demons do not mix, and he reels back. Um, <clears throat> a, a mound of earth near you explodes, and you see pluck! <laughs> Um, sort of roll right into the middle of combat. Um, right. uh, you just kind of like sitting with his feet out, like <laughs> dirt everywhere, like in your beak, in your feathers. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> right in the middle of everything. Roll initiative. Join. Join the bunch. Okay. A little dazed. Still, still coughing up. <laughs> yeah, just a little dazed. That's all. All right. You, uh, you join the initiative. Um, yeah. You, you obviously see everything that's happened around you. Um, 
the the soldiers it is their turn and you've been spending a good amount of time attacking one of their champions Trixa has become a demon. Um, they're somewhat more convinced now that you are, in fact, the bad guys. Um, simply by the actions of the last round, you know? You, 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 it's hard to blame them. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, one more thing I need to make a roll for. Um, okay. Uh, it off, off in your peripheral, uh, Tala is cleaving soldiers in twain. Um, Sick. Cool. Uh, sh this round, she, she, let's see, just, just keep her honest, let's roll the damage, plus, blah, 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 blah. okay, uh, and she, she is able to cleave through one, and she has literal cleave, so let's, let's, let's go ahead and see if she gets another, and she does, uh, literal cleave, uh, doesn't quite take out another one, but, uh, mortally wounds the second soldier in her path, so Tala's having a great time. <laughs> um, the soldiers themselves, however, now that they've uh, more or less discovered that you're the bad guys, uh, the group of soldiers attacking Kala, however, have to take their turn. Um, they do inflict a bit of damage on her. They, they sort of stab her a couple times in the, you know, in the bowl part of her torso. Um, <laughs> uh, the, the soldiers near you, however, have uh, turned and they're going to try to take a couple swings your way. Um, they, because it's such a mess around you, uh, consider yourselves more or less, everyone is flanked by everyone at this point, right? So like, the, the soldiers are kind of cool. scattered about you, you're scattered about. So one of the soldiers, he, he, he does have flanking on you, Kovacs. He's gonna try to, um, uh, even with advantage, I don't think 16 is going to hit It you. sure does. Yeah, it? it does not. Um, so yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, you know, one one soldier randomly is like ah swings and just sort of misses near you. Like yeah. <laughs> Trips. Um another one uh will try to uh take a swing at Captain Allhaven. And uh, you know, he carefully comes up to you, he's like, I trusted you, Captain Allhaven. Look up to me, kid. I'm a role model. What are you doing? <laughs> uh yeah, in his despair, he's not able to unless <laughs> unless a fourteen hits you. Um My AC is Let's see. No, I'm good. Yeah, no, he uh, in, he's he, he's crying. He can't through, see through the tears. His his uh, hero of you know a week ago um, turned out to be <laughs> turned out to be what he had not envisioned, and he he misses unfortunately. Life ain't like the comic book soldier. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Um, and uh, one more will take a swing at. Pluck, just because you just arrived, and there was a huge explosion, and uh, you seem to be friendly with these evil people, you know? And you, I didn't you are, say anything to them. And, uh, you know, unfortunately for, for you, this one soldier is a little racist, so you're a bird person, and uh, he takes a swing at you, but racism does not prevail, because he was not 11. Um, yeah, your AC is not an 11, correct? Nope. Okay, yeah, uh, racism just uh, will not win the day. Uh, so he, <laughs> despite uh, his, his attitudes toward bird people, he does not inflict a wound on you. <laughs> like, Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Ah, 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 bird person! He's afraid. He got attacked by ravens or something as a kid. <laughs> Can I even go out into the middle of a fucking water without yeah. being profiled? Yeah, yeah, you can't. It's just, it's a bad, it's it's a terrible time to live in. Uh, Kovacs. What, There's what are, problems in the military, soldier. <laughs> what are Walter and Jeff doing? Uh, Walter and Jeff, uh, they were in the middle of getting uncuffed and untied. Unfortunately, everything just sort of escalated very quickly, oh, so they're no. trying to untie themselves, okay. finish it. They're like, I'll be with you in a second. Okay. Yeah. Um, Kovacs. All right. I'm going to rip off my Hyperion Hell Phoenix mask. No! <laughs> well, <laughs> I think they, they it's pretty clear here. <laughs> Just be like, I want you to see the face of the one who kills you. Who are you talking to? The ASMR. Okay, she is not even looking at you. You're like, what? you're like saying words. You're like, I want you to see the face of. <laughs> Look hey. at me. Like, hey, hey, hey! I'm talking. Like wailing on Trixa. You're like, I. Uh. <laughs> I mean, if she's not paying attention, do you I like get put, advantage or what? <laughs> you like put the mask back on and wait till she's like. <laughs> I mean, let me try this again. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait till she's got a clearer head on her shoulders. Um, she's like. 
Oops. <laughs> I'll later. No one saw anything. <laughs> All right, I'll attack We're, we're just like, mate. <laughs> you missed your moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my day. <laughs> Uh, Carpe a, diem. Let's <laughs> do us a little uh, greatsword uh, slashy slash. It's a greatsword slashy slash. Is she turned all the way around? Um, no, you you would have to spend some time or some uh, some of your movement to try to flank her if you would like the uh, advantage. It does seem like I could do that. Though at this point, I should warn you that since you are surrounded by the chaos mm, of soldiers, mm, people yeah. would get swings in on you. Mm. I'll just go from the fronts. Okay. All right. God. All right, well, that's a nine. Nine? Yeah, another ballet sword kick to flex your sword. What? That's a ten! Double deflecting. These are just great. <laughs> yeah, super, super impressive kicks God. from the uh, Asimir. She's um, so flexible. Do I need to recast Very. Branding Smite? Very I sure flexible. don't. Okay. Looks like we're done. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, so far, this this lady is uh, attempting to fight both of you off at once. Warblund. Uh, how healed is she? Like, she how, looks how much... significantly better. Oof. Okay. But, you know, lay on hands is only a one-time thing, so. Oh, you can't use it more than once? Um, I think it's a once a day. Once per long yeah, rest. Yeah, once per long rest. Ah, uh, gotcha. Ability. I'm going to go after the soldier that just tried to run up on me. Okay. And, okay. Um, <laughs> strike him straight through the chest. Oh no! Oh, roll to hit! This poor fan! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Uh, six. Six. Um, you, 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 you swing down and he's just so pitiful. Like, even you, you're like, would this be in bad taste? Like, he's actively sobbing on the ground, like, sitting <laughs> there. And you're like, ah! Oh. Is he human? Uh, no, he's not. He's not, which is which is also part of what's keeping your 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 thing. What at, is he? At bay. He's half elf, um, so he's half human, right? So you're like, oh, roll no. for another hit. What do we do? <laughs> <laughs> you're like this. This is for the other half. It's thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah, you you hit him this time. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a jab straight through the chest. All right. Well, uh, you you murder this this. Uh, <laughs> More or less prone, crying fan. Uh, you stab your blade straight through his chest. Is there anything you'd like to say to him? Don't meet your heroes, kid. <laughs> convention goals. <laughs> what, what'd you say? I said convention goals. <laughs> he slumps forward and out of his pocket it rolls like a little handkerchief that you recognize as something you signed earlier in the city. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I take it back yeah. <laughs> and just wipe a little bit of the blood off my blade. <laughs> this will have resale value for later. <laughs> I'll see you at the next meet and greet, little soldier. <laughs> I just move on. <laughs> oh no. Oh, perfect. The most perfect. evil thing that's happened. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Werblin has um, devastated his fan base. Uh, tricks Did anyone this. else see this? Uh, yeah, a good number of people see this and they're like, <gasps> Benny! Benny, he was your biggest fan! Benny came from a dirty lineage. Oh, oh shit! Go <laughs> <laughs> oh, back to your ears for a couple like, what? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, everyone, everyone's like, yo, what? Whoa, I was like, whoa. Oh, wait, I got the right, I'm, I have the right to say that. Follow <laughs> orders. <laughs> <laughs> the, the one, the one who attacked Pluck was like, I can get behind that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has a point. Yeah, see, <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> the act is starting to favor Warbland <laughs> as he he takes pleasure in killing the people that ruin his life. Oh man. Um, all right. So uh, Trixa, um, you know this. New, new, new bout of racism aside, um, <laughs> is your turn. <laughs> I'm just gonna slice back up at her. All right. Uh, well, not back. recklessly. Oh, half me luck. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes, reroll. Okay, 19. Woo. 19, you meet. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Half and luck is great. Yeah. Okay, um, that is 12. 12 points Slashing, of yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so you you slash up at her, you you get her, um, uh, you reopen some wounds that have closed. <laughs> All right. Like growl at her? 
Yes, you, you make a very fierce <laughs> behind your mask. Yeah, kind of muffled. <laughs> it just comes out echoey, like... <laughs> <laughs> You're like, excuse me? Uh, and second attack! Yes. Ooh, okay, that's like 23. Nice! You hit. Seven. Eleven. Eleven. Oh, thank damage. heaven. Yes. Chipping away at the Leon hands damage. Yes, you get you get a stab in. It's Cap. very gory. Uh, perfect. Okay. Um yeah, she's uh and she's you know, she obviously she appears very hyper focused on you. Um uh, you have aggro. Great. More or less. Um <clears throat> it is her turn. Let's see here. Blah 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 blah. Alright. So now newly equipped with the Haven Spear itself. Uh, she rolls to attack uh, Trixa one more time. Uh, Trixa does a uh, does a 15 hit you? Yes. Yes, okay. Um, let's see here. And he is uh, she is using it now with two hands because Ooh. she no longer has her war hammer. Great. Um, Unfortunately. Okay. Uh, all right. Take uh, 12 points of magical piercing damage, uh, first off. Mm -hmm. um, and she, uh, she uh, jams this, she jams the spear. Uh, you know, Azaz does his best, but she jams it right into your side. You feel it, uh, you feel it uh, get past his, his outer, like, inky layer and, and shove deep into your flesh. And... There's there's a strange um, uh, arcana sensation as the blade digs deep, and a second thing happens <clears throat> as it hits you. Um, you take six extra points of sonic damage as a small pop, a small magical pop um, uh, reverberates inside the wound itself. Uh, make a constitution saving oh throw. Oh my god! Stop. Is this the mm. diarrhea spear? I will. Eight. Eight. Uh, unfortunately, uh, that does not work out. You, uh, it's not extra damage or anything. The, the, the sudden, like, explosion of, of air pressure knocks you back ten feet. Um, um, mm. Away from uh, combat itself, um, so you 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 land in a heap ten feet away. Um, let's see, and that is her first hit. So uh, Kovacs, you see that she the spear uh, has uh, taken taken tricks us temporarily out out of the fight, and now she mm. aims her sights on you, and you see this very um, well crafted spear heading towards. I remember you this next. spear. Yes. Nice spear. Nice spear. That, that, is not, that is not my role. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let's... You know, 19. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh my god. Um, you know, she's, uh, she's on a roll right now. Um, oh. Okay. Uh, uh, 15 points of magical piercing damage. Mm -hmm. uh, sh uh, just... Penetrates your armor like like it was paper. Okay. Uh, the spear and uh, this. Uh, Eleven points of sonic damage. Neato. Uh, so you will also have to make a Constitution saving throw. So uh, at what point do I get to hellish rebuke? Uh, whenever you are taking damage, you can use your reaction to be like, "Hey, that." So before I get blasted back, oh. maybe I could uh, just. Be like, uh, <laughs> is that a thing I need to? Yeah, so I, I believe that goes off your. Um... Oh, they need to make a fourteen. Uh, wait, what spell slot am I going to cast it at? Though? Yes, that is. Um, the question. No, wait, hold on. What did I just? Oh God! <laughs> wait, can I? <laughs> Go to spells. Okay, please help. Okay. Scroll up. I think you just cast it. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Okay. We want to cast it at second level. Ooh. It's the same deck save. Okay. So she's got to make a 14. Okay. 14. Um, nope, she doesn't make it. Nice. Beautiful. It's just beautiful. Whew. 
five damage. Five points of damage. All right. So um, you rebu- you rebuke her hellishly. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> um, That's really bad. You, you right before your push, you're knocked away as well. Um, you manage to uh, uh, spite and bitterness overwhelm you, and you just sort of like, <laughs> and you not like that, <laughs> not like that. I just did, but um, in a more masculine way. Um, you are able to uh, land a spell, and you notice her uh, grimacing noticeably as the uh, the hellish rebuke uh, rocks her body, and um, she you are able to flick her off right before flying away. <laughs> Wait, uh, do I make a save? To, oh, to, did you not make the con? No. Save? Oh, make the con save to see if you even fly away. So con. Oh my god, why is it so high? <laughs> Beefy. Oh yeah. Twenty five. Oh yeah. Okay. So you you feel um you, the the wind pressure uh begin to lift you up, but you staunchly hold your ground, and you still flip her off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. The pressure. wind blows through my. <laughs> That's right. It's very you know. It's very cinematic. <sighs> Um, you have your own soundtrack and everything. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so let's see. Can she do anything else on this turn? Um, oh, no, I'm she... like holding on to my wounds. Right. <laughs> Things are not feeling good. Uh, all right. Pluck, it is your turn. Mm. Um, let me see. In her one. Okay. So is the... Uh... Is the Asmar humanoid? She is humanoid, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm going to try and cast Hold Person. Okay, and him. that's your spell DC save is? 14. 14, okay. Do, 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 do. Um, yeah, oh, uh, that's a natural 20. Great. I'm, I'm really sorry. Cool. But that's, but she spent it, that was her natural 20. <laughs> um, okay, so then for my... So I try to cast Hold Person, doesn't do anything, I'm just like... I'm just like kind of... <laughs> you, ever, you ever the Spider-Man She's finger like, gun hands? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Spider-Man! And I look around, and I see, uh, I see Trix is like, kind of like, kind of fucked up, right? Right. So I'm just like, Pretty hey. fucked up! I'm just like... I just kind of like yell at her, I'm like, What are you doing? Stop dying, you need to do shit! I can't! And that's my, that's going to be my healing word. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm also casting at third level. <laughs> Kill word is a bonus action, right? It is a bonus. It is a bonus action. action. Yeah. So that so, is three d four plus three. So yeah, you 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 regain some physical health, but you lose Do some roll that or mental damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you you roll. Okay, right. cool. So, um, uh, ten. You heal ten, and you're trying your best. That was mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank right. you! Get up and go! Mark. Go, go crazy! Did a thing! <laughs> Your organs stop leaking a little. <laughs> Big yikes. Um, Large mood. Uh, Alright, Pluck, was that your turn? Uh, that would be enough for a free action. I could scream at the racist soldier that tried to attack me. You can, yeah. yeah. I just look, I'm just like. Conf- ah! Confronting racism is a free action. Cool. I just give him a really menacing squawk. All right. Well, you just sort of reinforce everything bad he believes about your people. Right, but now he's scared. <laughs> he was scared before. That was the problem. Now he's scared. <laughs> All right, Tala. Let's see how Tala's doing. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm I'm rolling I'm rolling really well tonight, you guys. Um, she's okay. She she tears through another dude. Um, uh, let's see if she. Cleaves another guy. Uh, she doesn't kill the next guy, but she does cleave into him. Okay, so she's taken out two uh, soldiers so far. Um, she's having a grand old time. She's like, nice. I haven't been alive in so long. This is nice, you know? Um, all right, it is the soldier's turn. There's not too many of them left now. Um, a, a majority of them are still preoccupied with your zombie horde. Uh, everyone, oh, uh, he just left. We're gonna have to do this without him. Um, uh, you guys make a perception check real quick. I'll ask him to do it when he comes back. But eighteen, eighteen. All right, eighteen as well. Nice. Seven. No. Seven. All right. So you were just a little preoccupied fighting this angel woman. You guys, however, realize that as these soldiers are falling around you, um, reinforcements are on their way Great. across the plains. Oh. Um, you're not sure what their numbers are, but you do see at least two more squads of soldiers um, marching very rapidly on your position. 
Hey. Uh, let's see here. How, how long until they descend upon us, approximately? Um, by your estimation, they should be here within even, like, a couple minutes. Oh. So, a long time in combat terms, but in real life terms, pretty short. Roll a perception check. Okay. Not good. <laughs> Nine. You don't see anything I just described to everyone else. We just, can, can we just convey it? Hey, Hyperion Health Phoenix! On your over there! <laughs> <laughs> On your turn, you can shout that out. Um, so that's... Uh, okay, so soldiers, uh, one of them is going to... Um... Oh, shit. Rolling is shitty for the soldiers. Um, that's not going to hit you. Uh, and one... The racist one takes a swipe at Pluck. That's a natural one. Um, so, uh, you know, the, the racist guy comes in and he's and he shouts some anti uh, Kenku propaganda, right? Um, one and, feathery, uh, one feathery. Right. And so, uh, having heard his friend uh, utter these terrible things mid combat, another one of the soldiers says, Whoa. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> I know we're fighting a war, but there's there's no cause for this. There's there's no reason to be that sort of hateful. Exactly. And he just pulls him aside and sets him down and starts to talk to him. <laughs> and the next soldier. Like, this is uh, so dumb. <laughs> I hate this. Uh, the next soldier, instead of. Uh, flank attacking you like he should uh, also goes over to the hateful one and says, yeah, man, you know, you want to talk about why you're this upset? <laughs> I rolled two ones in a row. Um, you know, this is, probably something happened to you in your past that you're, you really haven't gotten over. And he's like, yeah, you're right, man. You know, I was just running out in the yard one day and I just had some I just had some bread on me and all these birds. And he's like, yeah, yeah, just go on, let it out, let it out. So three soldiers have been taken out of the fight. <laughs> For stupid reasons. Kovacs, <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, me again? Yeah. Golly, I want to kill this ASMR. <laughs> Plux sees this conversation happening, he's just like... <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. It's literally happening right now. I don't believe in that kind of discourse. So that's a one. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's three in a row. <laughs> three net. <laughs> There's um, D20s everywhere. <laughs> all right. So There's one under KG's table. I know, right? Yeah, nice. Smack dab in the middle. Um, oh nice. my god, there is. Right. Where are these all coming from? <laughs> uh, Our disappointment. Here you go. I, so you, you, you take your weapon, um, and you're, you're a little tired of being ignored, right? And this, this lady has not paid a single ounce of attention to you after you just took her head off. Right? <laughs> Some respect, if you will. Notice me! <laughs> and that's exactly what you shout <laughs> as you come raining down on her, per, like barreling towards her. I exist, damn it! And um, having been, having uh, traded blows with you long enough now, um, the ASMR uh, uh, sees your blade coming this this time uh, fueled by anger a little bit right so it's a little less controlled and she spots that weakness um, and uh, she she has though your your blade is reinforced with adamantite it is not 100% adamantite um, she spears um, her leg sword right into the silver of your blade cracks it mm -mm. impales it right through to the mm -mm. other side and mm -mm. flings it mm -mm. into the woods uh -uh. disarming you Never. didn't you have like a super dope special weapon uh-huh <laughs> and it's been yeeted into the forest it has been yoked <laughs> this is why people are racist against birds what? Isn't isn't an ASMR like? No, she's a, she's she's oh, she's she more of a feathers. divine celestial oh. uh, being. There are wings. They're like phantom wings. They're not actual. Well, see, I'm jumping to conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> Your intolerance is showing. <laughs> 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 it's 
this is the problem. <laughs> oh, it's got feathers. <laughs> um, it's so me in my bird costume saying all this. <laughs> <laughs> we are really um, you, you Okay, so unfortunately you have been disarmed. Um, That's cool. <laughs> um, uh, so... Can I... Okay, so I get a second attack. Yeah. I don't have a weapon. You could... Can it... Fisticuffs her, I guess. So I couldn't do inflict wounds as that, or... Um, you know what? I think second attack's just, like, if I attack with my weapon, I can Right, do but you know again. what? I'm going, to, I'm going to allow it, just because... It's a sad thing that's happened, and I know you liked your sword, so I'm, I'm going to... And it is an attack I still roll. like it. What is this yeah. past tense? It yeah, still yeah. exists. Yeah, it exists. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cast and flight wounds. I will. I will. 17. 17. Um, unfortunately not. No. So, so yeah, in, in, in a rage, because your your weapon has maybe been broken, um, you, you're just sort of like... Ugh. Ah, you know, um, and then she sort of like, no. Oh. Um, st- sidesteps you uh, cleanly. Um, uh, Kovacs, that is, I believe your turn, is unless there's something else you'd like to do. Crying is a free action. Yeah. <laughs> I will cry. <laughs> Manly tears shoot down your face out of frustration and, and sadness. <laughs> Werblund, um, it's your turn. Um, by the way, Chad has pitched that we put combat racism. Combating racism is a free action on a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a bad Same idea. Um, let's let's go after this ASMR again. ASMR. I'm, I'm done killing fans. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, there, there is a wide enough path for you to make a tour without getting an attack of opportunity by a soldier. So if you would like to, you absolutely can. Okay, I'm just gonna go and try to stab her in the back with my non-broken sword. All right. <laughs> well, the, your sword's not broken. It's just kind of it's been damaged a little bit. Just my non-damaged sword. Right. Then. Big yikes! Seven. Uh, yeah, it's it's another block from the blade, and now your now this blade is a chip in it. Okay, well let's try the uh, the other bro- damaged one then. Ah, uh, five. Um, yeah, it's, uh... That's karma, honestly. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's an impressive series of uh, sword swings. You're not, you know, you're not untrained. And these are textbook uh, 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 um, swings you're putting in. Unfortunately, she also uh, is, is an extremely adept soldier. And she's able to parry your blows uh, one after another. Um, and you're starting to feel the wear on your swords. And you can feel it. Like, it... it, it the blade goes in a little further than it should, and you're like, okay, it, that her blade is biting into mine, right? And, and you pull back, and you're like, yes, the chips are getting bigger. Um, okay. So just keep that in mind as you're fighting her. Um, <clears throat> uh, is, is there anything else you'd like to do? For- Gentlemen, lady, I think it might be time for a retreat, don't you say? I'm uh, not done here. As, <laughs> as you hear Wordland's voice, you do look up and you do see two squads of soldiers coming down the hill as reinforcement. Don't you say? I might be done here. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, uh, so... <laughs> Uh, Trixa, it is your turn. You start out 10 feet away from where you uh, oh, began. where's Jeff and Walter? Um, they're almost done getting themselves free. They're, they're Like, Walter's free, he's just helping Je- Shady Jeff now. Um, how far away is that sword that she threw? You don't see where it landed. You just see that it just kind of whew, into the woods. Mm, mm. Um... Is there a... I feel like 10 feet, am I, do I feel like I'm out of her range? Like I could she, get away? You could probably, yeah. She's okay. she's currently preoccupied with Kovacs and Werblund. I would like to attack the nearest soldier that's not having a heart-to-heart. Okay. Okay. Um, you have advantage then because you flank that soldier. Wonderful. Good. Okay, 17? 17, yeah. You absolutely hit. Yes. That is 11 points slashing. 
11 point slashing. All right. Um, this soldier was already in melee with Tala, so uh, unfortunately he he just does not see you uh, coming behind him. Fortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately for you. And you, with your Izaz and hand strength, uh, take your axe right through his body from uh, bottom to top. And he, he folds and falls like a flower. And I wink at Tala. <laughs> and is there another one near me? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, you, you, you're you now take, uh, going into Tala's group of humans. Yeah, so you yeah. also flank this one. Yeah! <laughs> uh, that's cocked. Uh, 21! You absolutely hit. Yeah! Uh, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, slashing. 7 slashing? Alright. Um, so this one doesn't go down, but you do kneecap him, more or less, right? So he just sort of falls down to, to, to one kind of, like, useless leg, cries out in pain. Um, and, you know, uh, Tala's like, oh, thanks, and, you know, you see her lifting her axe up for, for whatever happens next. Um, so you, you've, you've joined her, uh, little combat group then for her, your turn. All right. Um, so, uh, it is the, <clears throat> it is the ASMR's turn. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> like, this has become that. It's, that's her name now. That's her name. Um, Kovacs, as, as, uh, you failed your, uh, spell, um, mm -hmm. You, you see her turning her face and looking at you directly in the eyes, these burning blue eyes, searing into what is left of your soul. <clears throat> Make a wisdom saving throw. Oof, these are so high. Okay, um, 17. 17, okay. Um, you, you feel this, uh, you're familiar enough uh, now with um, magic to, to realize uh, 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 um, kind of charm spells when you feel it, right? This is kind of the opposite. Well, oh, I have is, advantage against being charmed. I don't know if that's... Uh, this is a fear spell. Ah. So you, you so it's along the same lines, but you've made it anyway, right? Okay. So you're like, okay, magic is happening. So you, you, you muscle your way through it. Um, unfortunately for you, it, it's such a powerful effect that even though you make the save, you your speed is still halved for one minute. Um... Uh, as uh, you, 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 so you're not like terrified or, or running away or frozen in fear, but you, you, your legs are a little like, ooh, that was not what I wanted to look at. <clears throat> um, what did she use? Uh, abjure enemy. So, oh. uh, yeah, so that this is her channel divinity. I've been abjured. You've been abjured. Hmm. Um, now, <clears throat> hmm. uh, she, then you see her do one of these. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no. No, we can do it. Do the thing. Um, do the thing. <laughs> she now. <laughs> She's like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Remember uh, me. <laughs> um, what if she's just like. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, they have, you guys just sort of have this quick exchange. It's like, I'm, I'm going to remember you now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, Star Lord. The betrayer? <laughs> you know, that's me. I betrayed me. That was me. <laughs> um, she's just very salty about having her leg taken. Uh, okay, that's... that's uh, she will not hit you with this one. Um, she, uh, you know, after your awkward exchange, the fight begins anew. Um, she comes at you with a spear. Uh, it's a, it's a more, it, it's a little bit more of a, um, uh, you, you can, uh, you can see it coming a little bit now because, you know, it's, it's, your, your fight has begun from this weird default position. Mm -hmm. So you, you're able to sidestep her first attack. Um, Wurblund, you're there too, right? And, and on her downswing, she goes for you. Uh... 15? Um, actually, I think I might be good. Yeah. Uh, meets, or you have 16 and above? I have 17. 17? Okay, great. Uh, so you, yeah, you, the, the spear narrowly misses you, you dodge back, you fear the, you, you kind of feel the air pressure um, as the spear lands on the ground. You're like, oh, that would have hurt a lot. Um, and uh, let's see. And 
at, at the end of her turn, she does one more bonus action. She slams her, uh, she slams the spear to the ground. You see it glow with this bright, uh, simmering um, power, um, and she readies for her next turn. Uh, Pluck, it is your turn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to cast Ice Knife. Okay. So and she has to make a DC. What was it? Uh, a dexterity DC fourteen. Okay. But first, I need to roll to see if it hits. So doesn't hit, but still needs to make the fourteen. Uh, she thirteen. So uh, okay. So <clears throat> so like pluck like throws it and it just like misses and just kind of lands right next to her and he just kind of gives like a little <laughs> and then it explodes. Now, that's everyone uh, of oh, yeah. your choice, or is that everyone? Within five feet. Okay, because they're all within the same kind of square. They're literally right in front of her, so that's <clears> like five feet. Collateral damage. So yeah, everyone's got to make a deck save then. Great. 14. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I'm more than 10 feet away. Yeah, so. It's a save, not now. a regular. Uh, dex. 13. Dex? Mm-hmm. Dex. Uh, 18. Oh, you're fine, right? He's fine, or he takes he's, half? He's, uh, let's see. Must succeed. It doesn't say half, so I think he's fine. Okay, so you're fine. Sorry! Uh, six. Six. Do I, so did I meet it or no? Or was no. It? You did not. You take six points of damage. He <laughs> just sees you get his, just like... I'm sorry, Cap. You're making a bad impression on the other soldiers. <laughs> yeah, Captain, you're talking all weird. You're making a bad impression on my men. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just such a big fan. I'm not a role model kid, and neither are you. Oh, I didn't claim to be. Captain. <laughs> I've seen what he does to his fans. Yeah, Sari slumped over on the execution. Hey, you shut your gabber over there, Hyperion Hell Phoenix! You're a traitor to mankind! Fly started to Ah, yes, that course. is my name. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why are, we, why are we still doing this? <laughs> <laughs> I Silence! I don't know. Well, he's kind of losing it under the <laughs> outfit. And, uh, <clears throat> I have a bonus action. Uh, you could healing word again, I suppose, as a... I don't think I... Wait, do I have the spell slot for it? Yes, I do. I'm going to heal... You know what? <laughs> like, it explodes, he just goes, my bad, and that's going to be my healing word. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever ice knife wound you've, uh, so. you've taken uh, will start to heal in a second. So uh, you get four of that back. Yeah. So you only take two. It's like an ice scrape. Don't worry, I'm keeping count. <laughs> all right, then. Um, all right. Glad it I is... can make it. Uh, yes. It's the, it's the soldier's turn. There's not many of them left now. You do see that the soldiers are approaching from uh, 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 the, 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 the side. However, um, because you've, you've thinned their ranks to such an such a, uh, extent, their little formation to keep the undead at bay is starting to falter. Uh, you notice your zombies are getting through to them. Um, and the soldiers that you've killed so far, you notice, are starting to twitch. Um, Uh-oh! Yep. So, unfortunately for the soldiers, all of them have to use their, their remainder turn to fight back the undead. Wait, um, uh, hey, we were supposed to leave. Which <laughs> does not turn out very well. Uh, so, the remainder of the soldiers are overwhelmed by your horde of zombies. Um, and they're, 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 does, does this mean we can win the fight with the new guys? Maybe. We got like a hundred zombies. Do we need to find out? We do have a hundred zombies. I never planned on running. <laughs> <laughs> Not for a second. It's like, that's my secret, Kat. <laughs> I always plan on running. <laughs> a good soldier never lies, Kovacs. <laughs> I never said you were a good soldier. <laughs> And, and Trixa, uh, issuing commands to your zombie horde does take an action. Okay. Um, Kovacs, it is your your turn. My speed is halved? Your speed is halved. How far did my sword go? You don't know. Cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Really look for it. But if I 
left, she would get an opportunity. Oh, yes. Okay, well, I guess we'll just try that old inflict wound. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> 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 I love it. God damn it. Mm. It's 14. Fight with your honor, not your emotions. <laughs> you flail your necromancy hands at her rapidly, but none land. Um, so that's, uh, yeah. Mm. It, I'm sorry. It's cool, man. <laughs> I'm really sorry. So, uh, anything else you like? Let's see. Uh, bonus actions? Nope. Crying is a free action. <laughs> Can I two weapon fight by punching her? <laughs> Look, I'll let you throw a punch if you want. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, Out of frustration, we're I'll let you do that. Punch. I mean, I do get plus seven to that. You do it. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nineteen. You know, um, are you proficient with your hands? Everyone is. You can divine, divine smite your your punch. <laughs> Falcon! I'm gonna let you do it. Falcon! I know you're not supposed to, but I'm gonna let you do it. Well, I guess we will do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the punch deals five damage. Right. Actually, I'm, it's gonna be a headbutt. I'm, I'm, I'm very You're upset. going to divine smite your headbutt. Yes. I'm gonna be like... <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> The holy headbutt. Yes, it's the holy headbutt. Wow. Uh, or sorry, branding, uh, branding smite. Your head is so hard it counts as melee. That's yes. why we're gonna. That's how we're gonna uh, so justify it. Five plus five, ten. Okay. I always knew you had a thick skull, Hell Phoenix. <laughs> you, you slam your head into her face. Um, her fortunately unarmored face. Uh, oh, she's she's uh, getting injured again. Uh, she 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 shakes her head. She you you've, you've broken part of her nose, and and uh, you know a little blood trails down her nostril. Um, yeah, you you certainly divine headbutt her, and it was very <laughs> impressive. There was a big flash of light. You know, um, everyone just kind of stopped and like, oh, you did that. Wow. Yeah. I don't remember that move from Smash Bros. <laughs> We've never seen that maneuver before. Um, but yes, that would be uh, your your turn. Yep, done. Wurblund, it is it is on you. Hmm. Well, I have two busted swords. Nice. So they're that's kind of they're not broken yet, but they are kind of starting to wear. Yeah. Um. I'm just gonna use them down to the hilt then. All right. Let's go for this thing. All right. Let's follow up the holy headbutt. <laughs> oh. Uh. 12. No, unfortunately 12. not. Um, you're, okay, so you, 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 you were trying to take an opportunity because you see she was just staggered, and you so, you thrust your blade up at her torso, um, and unfortunately she is practiced enough to, to uh, raise her knee and unfortunately slice through this blade uh, with her adamantite leg sword. Uh, so you, you have one uh, broken one-hander and one functional one. I'm going to add it with the other one. All right. Peg legs are unpatriotic. Oh, God. Uh, 17. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Are um, you? I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, you, 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 you come down with the second uh, blade. She, she, she uh, uh, is able to parry it again, and this one also just cracks. Um, and you see the blade uh, chip away and fall. Um, uh, your your blades now do the same damage as daggers um, because they've been sheared. Is that a D4? Uh, they're D4s. They work the same. Um, they've now just gone down, down a dice. Mm. So you can still use them. They're just... Well, they were, they were D8s. Oh, they were D8s? They're yeah. They're D6s now. Um, uh, so you, you've gotten some bit of the blade left, so they act as short swords. I didn't need those anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you can make anything work. Um, Nothing is too uncrafty for Captain Allhaven. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so I, he's just like muttering all this to himself, and like he doesn't care who. You guys, listening. you guys hear this, by the way. You just Werblin is slowly, <laughs> slowly losing his mind. There's not even an audience anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's disturbing. All right, Trixa. 
So, Thank what's you. the situation with the remaining soldiers and zombies? The remaining soldiers have all sort of been grouped up because they need all their numbers to even push back this tide of undead to begin with, and that is failing. So, um, the soldiers have trickled away from you and Tala, and they've uh, rejoined what's left of their brethren, um, and they're they're basically pinned um, okay. uh, by the by your zombies. Okay, what do I see on these wands? Okay. One of them is blue, um, with a very intricate runic design on it, nothing else. Another um, uh, is, is brown, and uh, the, 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 the texture is very leathery. Wait, she has my bracelet? Yeah. yeah. Give it back! <laughs> Uh, there's another red one, uh, also along the lines of kind of runic, but not any identifying features. One looks like it has a dragon head, and the other is solid, uh, it looks like a solid steel wand. Um, that's one, two, three, four. Um, and, and I apologize off the top of my head, I forget what the other one looks like. Uh, those are the ones you, you, you immediately see on your hand. There's also, um, wait. Because so you have five. Ones did you say? Um, so there's the steel looking one, there's the dragon head one, there's the other red one, there's a blue one, and there's the leathery textured one. Is that the brown that one? The beholder eye stock? Yeah, that's the beholder eye stock. There's a flame one. There are two flame there's ones, and I forget. Dragon, and there's a the red one. one. Flame. There is five. I counted five. I'm bad at math. Uh, yeah. You have all five. Yeah. In um, case you need to know, because I have it written down here, okay. because that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know which red fire one is which. Can so I, don't don't let me just. We just can't talk about I, this right that's now. That's right. You, you have no idea that she's about um, to do this. So I want to. You don't even know she has it. <laughs> I want. I see this. <laughs> I'm looking. I want to whip the brown one at the group of soldiers. Okay, oh. great. Um, Pluck, you see just in time as... Do I... Do I wait, hold on. Do I... Uh, never mind, I can't. Go you ahead. Do, you do see just in time. Trixa uh, produces this withered, brown-looking wand, right? And you have just a second before you're like... I'm be like, go, excremental! Uh, I see the excremental. <laughs> yes. Can I dispel magic on it? The reaction. Ah! I don't think... Summon creatures can be dispelled that way. Um, uh, I I don't think that works. I'm gonna make the call to say it doesn't work because I've How never. Would you use that one? I've never seen that happen, but uh, I'm sure someone will correct me afterwards. Did I? Like did I notice? Whoa, oh wow. yeah, this is gonna be hard to miss. Um, I just look over and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, In a second. <laughs> for, for those of you who have played uh, Final Fantasy VIII, it's like the Diablo summon. This brown liquid just sort of forms above this crowd of zombies and soldiers, and it, it's just, it peels away to reveal the gooey insides of the excremental plopping down on your zombie horde and soldiers both. Um, the smell hits everyone immediately. Everyone make a Constitution saving throw. <laughs> Wait, remember I had my my mask rigged. Oh, that's true. Actually, you, last time. you, oh, and yeah. you are okay because you have masks. I rolled well anyway. But you two, make a make a Constitution saving throw. Sixteen. Sixteen. You're okay. Right. Fourteen. You're also okay. You're also okay. Um, it's training just, camp value, soldiers. Right. So this a uh, wailing, um, self-deprecating elemental uh, collides <laughs> with these soldiers. Uh, the zombies don't mind because they already smell like poop. Uh, so they continue clawing through its its gooey body, getting to the soldiers who are now having the worst death you can possibly imagine. <laughs> as this experimental <laughs> crushes them into the ground, trapping their bodies in literal poop as zombies eat. Their your faces. Oh my God. Your families will be proud. Um, I want that back. <laughs> um, chat, release the crap in. <laughs> it's it's happened. <laughs> um, okay, uh, so since the this now the tide has literally turned with this. Uh, with this addition to your ranks, um, and uh, is there anything else you'd like to do for your turn? Um, just just look around at everything else. 
All right. Uh, See what, what everything's uh, doing. Uh, the, the ASMR are, uh, is still fighting both, both Warblund and uh, Kovax. Um, there's, there's three soldiers off to the side. They're talking through their issues, right? Um, uh, Pluck, uh, you see Pluck for some reason going, no! Oh. <laughs> and then you did. Right? Is Shit Boy hostile to us? Mm. You summoned him. Cool. Shit Boy. Um, Tala is, uh, Tala's covering her nose even though she's a zombie. You know, um, uh, and you you see that uh, the soldiers in the distance um, are rapidly approaching. They've started to uh, increase their pace now. Can I uh, see how many of them there are? Uh, just at a glance, roughly, these are like 30 more soldiers. All right. Um, so seeing that the tide has gone slightly awry, um, the, the ASMR takes one more swing at Kovacs, um, uh, 17. My AC is 17. Okay, mm. so it meets. Uh, she will do uh, one last bit of damage. Um, she will get a hellish rebuke. <laughs> she probably <laughs> will. Uh, okay. She knows what she's getting uh, into. <laughs> 10 magical piercing damage. Is that when you would like to hellish rebuke? Absolutely. You do it. She has to roll what? 14. 14. Uh, she rolls a 12. Oh, that's just lovely. So 2d10. Fire. Why? Eight. Eight. Oh, well, you have her almost back up to where you took her to in the first like two uh, seconds of this fight. So frustrated. Uh, that was that was a great turn. That was so good. That was really good. But then she ended up being a paladin. Yeah. <laughs> Those guys. Yeah. That's like, a good old. It's like they're the best or something. <laughs> Um, yeah, you hellish rebuke her. Um, uh, she she grimaces again. She she staggers, but it doesn't take her down. Um, the the spear still in your side uh, activates, unfortunately, and you continue to take a bit of damage. Um, oh, sorry, Snick Snick is in the way. Uh, <laughs> Affecting rolls again. Yeah, uh, ten points of sonic damage. Um, and you will have to make a Constitution saving throw. Neat. All right. You can re-roll. Do I re-roll that? You can if, okay. it, if it's tilted. So it's yeah. tilted. Hey, uh, 21. Hey, you once again, you flip her off. You're like, not getting blown away today, folks. Um, unfortunately for her, uh, she she is going to, uh, unless she wants to get surrounded and mauled to death by zombies, um, this ASMR is going to have to retreat. So the phantasmal wings... Um, a uh, uh, glow anew. Uh, she will take attacks of opportunity from both you and uh, Word One. She doesn't fly over me. <sighs> the last time she flew over you, she lost her leg. Yeah, <laughs> she's got another leg. <laughs> Actually, oh wait, you're talking about the leg she already lost off. <laughs> so both of you go ahead and roll your attacks. Of well, we're going with another holy head. Is that a twenty? <laughs> you're gonna try to head butt right? She flies so fast. Is that a twenty? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry? Is that a 20? D20? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Regular try to head butter as well. Because I have stumps <laughs> on my swords. Alright! <laughs> head so butts. Sad. They both just... <laughs> That's a nat one. Please be another nat one. Well, it's a nat two. <laughs> Come on, you know what happens here. Everyone knows what happens. <laughs> So proving, you know, best friends think alike, as the ASMR takes off into the sky, both Kovacs and Wordland think it is the best idea to get one last headbutt in. And of course, sailing through the air, they just miss her, her leg, um, her one good leg. Uh, both of you roll for damage. Roll a what now? Um, now you're, you're gonna roll, this is strength. Right? So roll a 1d4 plus your strength modifier. You roll 1d4 and you've already called Divine Smite. I sure have. Yep. That's only a 2. Great. So you do 2 points of damage to Kovacs. <laughs> Kovacs, however, uh, his head is glowing with radiant power. <laughs> so, so. It's going to be. F it's going to be 5 mm -hmm. plus. 
Four. Nine. Okay. Uh, you, you get hit for nine points of damage right in the head. It, it hurts a lot. You come crashing down to the ground. That did not go the way you thought it would. I... Can, can I choose to be knocked unconscious by this? <laughs> <laughs> you can choose to just lay on the ground and think for a while. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna sort of collapse and just like... Be very drowsy after this. How much did I take? Looney Tunes style Two hit. Two points of damage. <clears throat> that was not a fair trade of, <laughs> of damage, was it now? So unfortunately for Great you, minds. Um, Great the minds. ASMR, Great minds. The ASMR <laughs> meet in the sky. <laughs> does get away. Uh, Shady Jeff and Walter have freed themselves at this point. Uh, you, you're gathered around with your zombies. All the soldiers have, have been uh, wiped away and are resurrecting into your minions. Um, and the group of 30 soldiers are still uh, a, ways, a bit of ways uh, from you. You no longer need to be here. Uh, what is it you, you'd like to do now? I want my sword. <laughs> All right. Um, you, you, you do realize that after, you do know that if you go searching for your sword, though, it's, it's going to take, they're probably going to get to you by the time you found, find it. That's really great. We have lots of adamant time. We can make a new one. Kovacs marches straight into the woods. We can make a new one. Come back. Are there any, uh, are there any horses nearby that I see? A couple of them, yeah. I believe our ride just left. I would like to speak with animals. <laughs> on the nearest horse. Yeah. Uh, so you, you you speak with animals, and one of them's like, "So you think when that red stuff comes out of them, like it's a good thing?" I never understood what happens during these big kerfuffles. And yeah, horse, me neither. And horse, I just talked to him, just like, "Hey, all of you." Yeah. So, if you we we need a raid. Can we ride you out of here? Because things are coming and they're going to kill everything, including you. Roll animal handling. Uh, I'm sorry, not animal handling. It's, what is it? Um, animal handling, yes. Yeah. With uh, disadvantage, because you just told these horses they're about what to die. What disadvantage? I can help them. You just literally threatened their lives. <laughs> nice. And your horses, they spook super easy. So they're like, we don't die and they start rearing up Twelve. and they start heading off 12 12 um oh no wait 12 that's fine that's fine it's fine i thought you rolled lower uh, so they're like wait no we don't want to die where do we go it's, what do we do it's all right you let we you work with us you stay with us i'll guide you and we'll get out of here alive does that sound good let's go all right everyone on horses now uh, i command the zombies to kill every soldier they find Okay. Just to make sure, including the ones that are having heart to heart. I just sort of get up, <laughs> like start walking Witnesses. towards the horses, and just sort of collapse into the grass. The uh, the horse uh, picks you up by the scruff of the neck and flings you on top of it. My, and make sure the zombies know no horses. Just just. Okay. I think so they should already the know that. Is about to bite just, the horse. I said no horses. No <gasps> animals. Horses are there. Is there enough for everybody? Just only two. Oh, I have one. Come oh, back right. here! The, I run the, after him and try to get him back. the same horse? Yeah. What's, okay, cool. What's, oh, what's oh, coming? What's, uh, so, uh, so you here's what's going to happen. Um, uh, your, your, your horse, once again, explodes into being. Um, you all mount up. There's enough horses for everyone now. Your zombie horse has started to go right after the, the squad of soldiers. Um, the three, I want to but we'll make sure they get those three that were left. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They pass okay. by them, good. and by the time they pass by, they're gone. Okay, good. <laughs> Just a bloody stain left on the rock. Okay. Um, you mount up, um, and you see, uh, even as you're starting to make your escape, however, you, you might want to even take your time and to see that these soldiers, though they are, they are 30 strong and trained, are not ready for now the nearly 200 zombies that descend upon them. And it is a bloodbath. And your zombies wipe them from the face of the world. <laughs> So I could take so, my time looking yeah, for the sword. Yeah, let's stay a little longer. Yeah, that's where yeah. we will end. We'll pick up right where that. Um, we also that means there were no witnesses to any of this. Just Asimar, yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. So same as always. She's seen some so shit. So everybody else 
knows that doesn't know that we're like the bads if we're in our outfits, right? Mm, yes, and she can't really communicate with anyone on the island. You're still safe for now. <laughs> we're not done here. <laughs> <laughs> Identities preserved. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in for this episode of Dark and Dicey. Um, announcements, every, anyone, uh, before we go? Did we leave Walter and Jeff? Nope. They're still, they're coming with you. They're on the horses. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. Well, we haven't left, so. Yeah. Cool. I got one. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be on another D&D show called The Misadventures of the Misdemeanor. Uh-huh. And it is a seafaring pirate adventure uh, hosted by my buddy Brett Ultimus. So if you go to twitch.tv slash Brett Ultimus, uh, Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. You can catch me and uh, Mr. Andy Stein, a.k.a. Mando Pony, and Laura Shigihara, and Brett Ultimus DMing, and we're going to do some uh, scallywag stuff. So I like the two shows you're in. One is acronym MOM, and the other is acronym DAD. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> well... <laughs> Um, and <clears throat> for me, uh, as usual, I have Dice Camera Action tomorrow, Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Pacific. And uh, let's see, is Dra- Dragon Heist is out, right? I believe In game yeah. stores. Released, yes. Well, Dragon Heist is cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm high. Get, get it's Dragon out. Heist. It's out. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's definitely online. I think it's in game stores. I'm pretty oh, sure wait, it's out. It says September 18th. Dragon Heist out September on Amazon. Do we? Okay. What, yeah, it's not. We'll, we'll make there, sure. We'll Amazon make sure. Yet. Next. Yeah. It's on, <laughs> yeah. it's on D&D Beyond right now. Buy Wizards products. <laughs> <laughs> Wizards of the Coast. There's Ravnica coming. Get it. Use well, promo no. code Dark and Dicey. It doesn't do anything, but it lets them know that we care. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Dark and Dicey. Uh, we'll be back next. Uh, anyone leaving next week? Uh, is everyone going to be here? I'll be here. Uh, the, uh, I'll the, be following here. the following week. The following week. Next week, I'll right. be here. Okay, cool. So y'all will be back uh, next week then. Please join us next Monday, same time, same place. We will see you then.